Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're joining me from. My name is Nkem Iluago and in today's tips and tricks video, I'll be showing you how you can use Mail Merge in Zoho Mail. Now, what is Mail Merge? Mail Merge allows you to send bulk emails to lots of people. However, it also allows you to customize those emails so that each person will receive the email and they see it personalized to them. It can be addressed to their name and they would only see that the email was sent to them. So they won't see that you sent the, that email to multiple other people. Okay, so how do you use Mail Merge? Well, when you are signed into Zoho uh, Mail, you click on the right, you click on Toggle e-widget on the right here. You open that up. And these are certain um, fields that you have to fill up. Okay, first of all, you need to select a template. So if you already have a template created that you want to use, you can select that template or you can create a new template. All right, so here I'm creating my template. I can call this um, events invitation as the subject of the mail. Here I would say dear. Now you notice that when I wrote dear, I left a space. Okay, that space is where each person's name would be reflected. All right. Okay, so now that I've created my template, I can simply save. All right, so that is saved. Okay, so the next thing you need to do is you need to select your data source. Basically, this is your uh, your mailing list. Okay, the people that you want to send this email to, you need to already have them created either uh, on Zoho Sheets, on Zoho Forms, on Google Sheets, or even on your uh, on your Excel files on your laptop. So you can actually you know, do that. You can browse for a CSV file, XLS file from your, de your desktop as well and, and upload that here. So I already have a Google Sheets form, which is this, already created. So as you can see, I already have um, a an emailing list created where I have the first name, the last name, and the email addresses of the people I want to use for this test, okay? So what I will simply do is, I will, you can see that the worksheet name is leads. I will simply come back to Zoho Mail. I will search on that Zoho sheet. I will search for sheet for leads, and then I will select the sheet, which is a um, test. That is the name of the sheet. Okay, test. And I click import. So this is going to import those users, their name and their email addresses here for me. So that is important. So now that has imported, and here you can see um, a preview of our mail merge. However, you can see that it is not yet reflecting the names of each of the users. Okay. So what we are going to do is we are going to edit the template. And now that we edit the template, you put your mouse where the name should be. At the top right, you can see where it says insert field. This is where you can insert the first name, the last name, or the two. Okay, so here I will work with first name. So I will insert first name. And you see this is actually uh, the format to insert the first name. So I could have actually done this when I was creating this template. I could have just used these brackets and uh, imputed this here. So once you select the field that you want, you simply save. So now that is saved, you notice that here now when I preview, I can preview uh, the names of the people. So I can select each of the email addresses. It gives me a preview of their names. Dear John, dear... You can see it here. It has the preview of each of their names. So what you can also do is you can send a test mail to yourself first, okay, in case you want to test this out. Zoho Mail will send you a test mail so you can see how this would appear. Or you can go ahead and do a mail merge and send to these four recipients. So I'll go ahead and do this. So when I do this, what it simply means is that each of these four recipients, okay, then I click Run Mail Merge. Each of these four recipients are going to receive separate email. So they will not see the other people in copy they will receive separate emails right and in those separate emails they will see their names you know addressed as you can see here so here for example you can see one of the emails sent to the, to the recipient 
PM Musa, you are invited to the event, register here. And you can see when you check the recipient uh, field was only sent to one user. So this is a way that helps you send the bulk emails to multiple people, but then you can customize it and personalize it. Thank you for joining and see you in subsequent videos. Bye for now.